Hello guys, this is CD and welcome to the seventh mission of the P47 Wolfpack campaign. Uh, this is a ferry in bad weather. I'll let the briefing go and then I'll talk a little bit with you guys during the flight. Good morning. I have some good news. The 56th fighter group is moving about 15 miles south to High Hull. It has PSP steel mesh runway so you can finally say goodbye to this damn mud. The call sign of the new station is Dog Day. Some of our ground crews left earlier this morning to get things ready for your arrival. We'll take off in flights of four, then head to our new base directly. You can reach Sturdy on channel C for Charlie and Dog Day on channel D for Dog. Don't clutter up the frequencies unless you have an emergency. See you all there. All right, you saw that uh, set to the parking brake, taking me. Primary four times, Chevy two, battery one, one magnet, up. ignition two, both. Put the intercooler and oil cooling in neutral. I'm Wind setting the altimeter at this, at this point. On IFR flights, it's very important to set everything. I'm, I'm gonna put zero in this case. Alright, uh, engage a little bit, Clear. then uh, energize the starter. Mixture to reach. Engine is okay. Running. I'll let it. Uh, uh, I'll let it uh, warm up naturally. Uh, I'm not gonna close the intercooler, not the cooler. One thing that is important is to set the the artificial horizon and uh, see if it's working. I'm gonna uncage it now and uh, wait a little bit probably on the ground it do uh, start to, to to tilt a little bit like the procession uh, right before takeoff i'm gonna cage and on the takeoff roll i'm gonna cage you see the weather is bad and uh, i'll try to to keep the horizon okay i'm gonna uh, expedite here i'm gonna kind of cut and accelerate to get to the oil temperature to a normal level so we can take off the tax will be short so let's start it to tax thumbs up waiting for the section leader to go I'm gonna follow him to the new uh, field it's gonna be a high howden and the, the course there is 164 it's a short flight, so I decided to leave everything in here, so we can uh, see the the flight. So this kind of a flight, uh, no bullshit. Just uh, take off, navigate, and uh, land. Always the usual trio. Aviate, navigate, communicate. That's the the motto for every single plane I ever flew in my life. Not that that's uh, common knowledge. We're going to take off now. Already release the uncaged the artificial horizon. Let's go. All right, the gear is coming up. Once the light is off, all flaps are closed. Up. Lights off. Bring it to 2550 on RPM. Manifold as necessary. Remember to turn on your pitot heat in this weather. Very route to the field already. And in 164. As I said, it's going to be a real short flight. So. That lane was Channel C, High Howden is going to be Channel D of Dog. Dog was the nomenclature in World War II, now is Delta. Artificial Horizon is working nicely. If you get the chance and get contact with the ground, double check your artificial horizon and uh, re 
set it as necessary. Just you need to cage under the cage and it will be uh, level again. By the way, Johnny, my RPM is all over the place. I can't keep up with you. I'm gonna double uh, check the artificial rise. My oil temperature is pretty high. Should yeah. I turn back? We're closer to high house now. You may as well carry on. Keep an eye on that needle. Roger. By the way, did you know that the basic uh, T for the, the flying instruments? With the artificial horizon on the center, the speed on the left, altitude uh, on the right, and the course on the bottom was born when uh, Bob Johnson. Chevy 2 1, inbound. Robert Johnson lost his P 47 uh, when his uh, friend was flying it over the channel and uh, he got the vertigo and crashed in the channel. Never saw the airplane anymore. And when he went to work for Republic as a technical advisor, a support pilot, and uh, he, he came out with the artificial horizon on the center, speed on the left, altitude on the right, Flight, RTB. and uh, uh, the course HSI uh, on the on the below the horizon. So that that that's the the reason to have uh, the basic T every single airplane Robert Johnson uh, invented. So we cross over the field, I see I held him, he gave us runway 22, of course was 164, so I'm gonna get on downwind leg, course 07, and uh, I'm gonna start it to configure the airplane. Sometimes with this bad weather if it there's if there's no crosswind it's good to go for full flaps I lower the flap a little bit and by the way remember the flight was short you have a, a full tank there gonna be heavier so don't I see two guys on final don't approach uh, that's low you no know, on the train 110 is gonna be a little bit dangerous so I felt that when I was turning base and uh, I decided to accelerate a little bit to 130 miles per hour on final. So in here I felt a little bit of uh, shaking, like on pre-stall, and I decided to to go ahead and uh, go a little bit faster. The guys landed ahead. I went to to use the full flaps. A little bit of set to keep the running side, flaps are full, 2550 on the RPM, which we reach, and uh, the flap is closed. You see I'm keeping up a little bit of the speed. Let's go for a positive landing. The wind is aligned, so it's good. Oh, floating, keep it up, good enough. In this case I retract the flaps to to settle the airplane on the runway. You see the flaps is already up. Open the canopy to touch, uh, moving the head better. I'm gonna vacate to the left. I, I will even cut the engine for you guys this time. really appreciate you guys uh, joining on these ferry flights. I do that a lot in real life. And uh, it's interesting with several platforms. So, align, 
parking brake sets, 1000 RPM, radio to off, make sure to cut off, radio to off now, and thank you very much for joining up. Ignition to off, battery Welcome to, to off. Holden, Welcome to, to High Holden. And that's it, guys. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys coming with me.